Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Software Engineer K here, and today we're going to be going through another OUP leak, one that I believe is going to be extremely significant for the OMI token and the VV ecosystem. So as of recently, Reese has spoken a little bit more about the golden ticket. This is one of three different tickets, so there's a bronze, silver and gold tier. Um, he spoke about this on uh, Ben of T's uh, stream with the French community, as well as the VV Meister and the German community. So I'm just going to go straight into it. We have, I think in the original OUP design, uh, you know, there's a way to um, spend tokens to to get extra spots in the waitlist, right? Kind of like the, the MCP points. But in the new OUP version, we're also introducing um, silver and gold tickets that you can earn through staking. Mm -hmm. And they can be redeemed for obviously two other things. Um, so I was going to get your feedback and your guesses, but if you weren't aware of it, then... <laughs> we'll have to rewatch that. <laughs> okay, so we heard it right there. We have this concept of a golden ticket. Now, in the past, we have heard of various different things that the VV team wanted to implement. Many of those were the early iterations. However, as Reese, uh, Reese normally uh, phrases it, they need to normally flesh out um, the idea and the concept. And normally the final iteration that we see is a little bit different to what they initially pitched. And that's just based off of more data, you know, feedback from users. Very rarely do we see something that makes it all the way through exactly from how they kind of planned it. Um, one example is cash out. So when they implemented cash out, they implemented the ability for crypto cash out as well, which wasn't initially part of the plan. So, you know, this is all based off of live user data feedback. And I believe that's how they should be operating. Now, there is one more video I want to share with you guys. And this one is a bit of an old one. So it's a bit of a throwback, um, but it is another idea that they had proposed right at the start. And I believe this is what has turned into the golden ticket. So I'll share that with you guys first. Um, you know, incentivize with them with some um, with some rare collectibles or access to rare collectibles. I mean, we're, we're playing around with a few ideas now, like, you know, maybe you get uh, access to like a gold gem and, you know, this gold gem will, will basically get you things on the platform that um, that other people can't access. So there's, there's a lot of cool things we can do. I, I, I can't say exactly when um, that those that reward will sort of come out, but it's 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 a no brainer for us that you know you support what we're doing, you provide liquidity, we're going to give you some cool stuff. Nice. Okay, so there you heard it from Dan himself. So this is a much older video, a lot of people might not be aware of it, but there were a lot of concepts that used to be uh, kind of floated around. And one of those was the golden gem. Um, and there were various different ways users could get rewarded the golden gem. Um, one was an early subscription model that they proposed. So you would kind of sign up and essentially get involved in like a sort of a loot box sort of service. So you would get, you know, maybe a gold gem every month that you could redeem for you know, various different super scarce exclusive things, you know, get like some exclusive content sent to you. Um, but I believe obviously, you know, as they've kind of um, reiterated on this concept of a loot box subscription model, I think now a lot of those features are kind of being cherry picked and placed into the OUP. Um, and so, you know, as of uh, more recently, you know, we have seen kind of this concept of um, the various different OUP staking tiers. Um, one of the tiers, tier three, we did also get a bit more of a feed, uh, leak that there will be two additional tiers and it won't stop there. Um, they will look at feedback and based off of, you know, um, what the community wants, they may introduce more tiers with additional benefits. But the top tier right now, you know, it is $10,000 worth of OMI. And that is the tier that you need to rent collectibles, um, you know, expanded AR features, you can lower your market fees um, and display mint number and you get the bonus on all points. So they did speak a little bit more about the point system where every time you transact with OMI, you will be rewarded points. And unlike gems, you will not get points for transacting in gems. So straight away, there is an incentive to use OMI. I also have to stress that when you want to cash out because it's peer to peer, 
and because you're not going through um, their payout provider which is wire there is no cash out fee when you're cashing out with omi so you need to remember that if you are uh, focused on transacting on the secondary market in omi then you'll get the bonus points and you will not be paying a 10 percent fee when you do choose to cash out so that is i think incredibly important for anyone who is um you know looking to i guess trade quite actively on the secondary market now in terms of gold and gems there was another article quite a while back um you know they spoke about you know within that video other various different things that they wanted to include as part of this subscription model um we do have like this very old roadmap here as well um and they spoke a little bit about you know, like this subscription loot box model um kind of around when they implement mcp um and then do like their full scale marketing so a lot of this stuff um you know they had to reshuffle around and a lot of this stuff we haven't yet seen however i do believe um, we will see some some aspects of this loot box um specifically the whole kind of virtual goods so virtual goods they have spoken quite in depth about it you know accessories for your showrooms that's essentially what the iteration of virtual goods is as well as uh you know some potential other cool things so you know some of the stuff that they spoke about back here um they said that virtual goods will be also uh, nfts that are minted on a blockchain um and you know assets in the virtual goods uh, section within vv you know they'll allow users to also um you know include their own user generated content too and i believe that is only going to be for very select people um part of it might be to do with the oup your staking tier part of it might be you know a system where you have to demonstrate you know good character in the app and you know kind of some form of contribution so a lot of cool stuff but you know as they discussed here these virtual goods they can be hats trees props animations backgrounds like posters um, all of that good stuff so stuff that people really want to you know kind of really build on and expand in their showroom as well as you know show off some cool creativity so there is clearly a lot that they can do here um, now lastly just what i want to touch on is you know since as of recently when uh you know we have been seeing uh mortgage rates um you know uh pretty much everything kind of uh, <laughs> Uh, getting uh, kind of screwed up in the market right now. Um, the UK today announced that they're going to be um, buying back government bonds with, in, a, in a hope to kind of decrease mortgage rates whilst at the same time announcing that they're going to increase rates. So, you know, the, the world's a funny place right now. But, you know, surprisingly, the tables have turned. You know, crypto is now being seen as a bit more, oh, well, specifically Bitcoin is more of a, uh, you know, less volatile asset, surprisingly, compared to like the tech stock market, um, you know, uh, the uh, kind of main currency trading pairs um, and omi surprisingly has been very very stable since may um, it has been as i said you know earlier it's been trading along this um this channel for like uh quite a while like it just zones around here and you know we're still kind of uh, on the day we're green um we're sat above this uh point of support here uh, you know we're just just under 0 0.013 I believe we're going to be sat here for a while longer until we get some kind of uh, implementation uh, more announcement even of OUP and um, people are just waiting for various different things I think crypto cash uh, crypto payout is going to help the OMI price because there are a lot of people who do want to kind of uh, you know dive back into OMI and then kind of uh, you know wait for o OUP to then move that OMI back into VV and then help the liquidity in the market that way as well um, so yeah, I believe crypto payout is probably going to come with crypto pay in because as of recently they did announce that there is going to be facial recognition now as part of the KYC process that is currently being tested with a small group of closed beta, beta testers. Um, I believe VV Vault is one of those beta testers. So yeah, that's pretty cool stuff. Um, but yeah, I am looking forward to seeing the updates in the coming months for sure. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything I have to go through with you guys today. Um, do watch out for the upcoming Ultraman drop this Sunday as well, as well as the Star Wars Vehicle Series 1 tomorrow. Um, I believe that's going to be a, you know, a uh, pretty significant drop historically because it's the first time we're seeing Star Wars vehicles on the blockchain. Um, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter is in there. So, you know, um, addition size does seem a bit on the highish end for me. Um, but I do believe in the longer term that, you know, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, especially if they make it, you know, um flyable like you can control it like similar to the vehicles then 
uh, I'm pretty sure that that one's going to be one that most people would want. Um, but yeah, pretty much everything I have to go for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. Please do like and subscribe to support the content. We're going to try and get to 8,400 subs. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.